Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It's going to be 80 today. I'm so excited. Oh, itchy nose. My allergies are terrible. Um, look who got a haircut. I feel so much better. I love my hairdressers. Oh, sorry, Sarah. Which is funny because that's my niece, Sarah. But Sarah, my hairdresser, and Sarah, my niece, have known each other since, well, they were born. Well, Sarah was in kindergarten. So, my niece, Sarah, and my hairdresser, Sarah's daughter, Riley, started kindergarten together. And they have been besties ever since. Um, yeah, so she's been cutting my hair since, like, the 90s. 99, I think, I moved back to Ohio. So, no more hat when I go out in public that says meow, duh. Um, yep, so I gotta go run some errands. I need some cat stuff. The cats need some food and kitty litter, just basics. I've been putting that off, but I need to do that. Um, I am so excited. I didn't think my farm stand would be coming back this year. Duh, COVID. It is. They're, um, it's not open yet, but that usually happens in June. They put their cart in the parking lot, which I think is safe. It's outdoors. You watch your fruits and wash them when you get them home. So I'm so excited about that. Um, behind my condos, there's a, a major street and a strip mall. And in that strip mall is the parking lot where they put the farm stand. And it's called Wits Farm. And they are from, I don't even know where, but they, here in Ohio. They have all kinds of fresh produce. So I can walk there on like Saturday morning. That was my favorite summer thing. Get up early and go over to the produce stand and get some fresh produce for the week. So I'll be able to do that and I'm excited. What else do I have to do today? Well, it is not morning, guys. It's 1140. I just got up and moving. Well, I've been up, we should say. I've been up, but I just got moving. My glasses are a mess. This is the life. I'm going to digress here for a second. The life of having to wear face block, sunblock on my face, and glasses. It always, always smidges up my glasses. And I usually clean them with this thingy, but I, sp I spilled coffee in my car, and this needs to be laundered. Let's see if I have a dry, a clean spot here, just to get this little bit of sunblock off my glasses um yeah i'm like a huge proponent of the sunblock i do wear face sunblock all summer and then i have body sunblock but i um i have already some sun damage on my skin i'm gonna be 50 this year there we go i think i got it Yes, um, and on my nose, there's a red spot, and I have a scar here from where they removed some, and I have some more popping up. It's just red, ouchy little bumps that come up. It's not cancerous at this point. It's um, They just said it's sun damage, and they take it off when it comes up. Um, I grew up swimming outside Texas, Ohio. We were competitive swimmers. I spent all my summers at the pool, and no sunblock. I mean, when I was growing up, you burned until you stopped burning. When I first moved to Texas, I ended up at the hospital with third degree burns on my shoulders and face. We didn't know. So now we know. So I get, um, right now I'm wearing Sunbum 50 sunblock for my face, which I love. And then I also bought Neutrogena, which I showed you, the Sport, which will keep it from melting in, which is what I will typically wear all summer. But the sun bum was out, so I used it. The stuff for anti-sweating is good because when you sweat, the sunblock tends to run in my eyeballs. Okay, so what are we doing today? I don't even know. My house needs cleaned. I want to do my patio this weekend. It's a three-day weekend. I want to do the patio. I want to... Uh, I have some videos to record. I may or may not change my shirt. But I have some stuff to show you. I got a new... I stopped the Cat Lady box and I got a new subscription box to try out. That's my goal this year is to try out different subscription boxes, share them with you, and see how we like them. So, and I have plenty of Cat Lady t-shirts. Although I love that box, my cats don't need any more toys and... It's fine. So, I will have a video out this week of two boxes I tried. Um, 
and I will share that with you. I have, I'm gonna put out a video for the Cambridge Way, which is my cross stitching and knitting and sewing channel. Cause I have all of that. And I have a Dollar Tree haul to put up this week. It's gonna be a busy week. But I do want to set up my patio, so I may do that today or tomorrow, depending on the weather. Because I would like to grill, but I am not going to allow myself on the patio to do anything until I clean it. And you'll see why. It's quite gross. And they um, they came by and painted our fences, and so I had to move everything, so it just looks terrible. And I have some weed killer to spray down. I have, you'll see, a plot of earth that the only thing it grows is weeds, literally. So, I have this... Um, 365 it kills weeds it kills anything living really for a full year and it worked fantastic and um, yeah and I have a half a gallon of it left from last year but my sprayer stopped working it came it was like $40 but it had a, a sprayer electric and so what I did is I bought a pump sprayer because it's a very small plot of earth that just needs to be killed all the weeds so I can enjoy my patio this summer and then I need to sweep it get my patio umbrella clean the table that kind of stuff and then we're gonna grill doing that this weekend I'm working on my cross stitch I wish Ikea would open already or here's the thing so online um they announced that they're not gonna open soon because it's not safe they don't feel it's safe that's perfectly acceptable um, I have a desk that's been sitting in my cart for weeks now waiting for them to open up their um, click and pick I think it's called so it's just curbside pickup and they announced that they were slowly gonna start opening the curbside pickup at their stores so I'm just kind of waiting for Ohio to be one of the store the one in Columbus Ohio we also have one in Cincinnati but that I'm not driving to Cincinnati for a desk but um, as soon as they open it up, then I will purchase my desk and go pick it up. I was thinking, well, it's only, it's only, it's $50 to have it delivered, which I understand that stuff is heavy. The desk weighs over 110 pounds. It's, they're heavy. Um, but I was willing to pay the $50, except for the earliest I can get it delivered is June 30th. It's May. I don't, you know, that's how far out they're scheduling delivery. So, and they won't bring it in the house. They're going to drop it on my front porch or my front yard. Again, I get it, but that's, I can do that. So I'm just waiting. So yeah, that is where we're at. I also, oh, I know what else I have to show on my Cambridge Way channel. A lovely subscriber sent me and you know who you are. And thank you. I don't have permission to say your name, so I won't. But I appreciate um, the box of embroidery floss that you sent me. I'm having so much fun organizing it and getting it together and storing it. So I will show you all of that as well, which is perfect timing because I had a project that I needed to floss up. And now I have all the floss. And I have some purchases and things of that nature to show. So that'll be exciting. Oh, there's a snow cone. Oh, I love this. All these food trucks are setting up around where I live. And there's a Kona snowmaker set up right here in my, um, in the parking lot. <gasps> the farm stand's open. What? What? The farm stand's open. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I just saw that. Usually it's June. Well, I guess it's Memorial Weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop being silly and drive. All right, I will be back. Okay guys, we're doing some cooking here. And what we have, or what we're making, is keto granola. Oh, my camera's all whoppy jawed. It doesn't have to be keto. It's honestly just nuts, unsweetened coconut, and seeds. So it's just a natural. Um, I don't have half the ingredients, but I'm okay with that. So what the actual recipe calls for is coconut, unsweetened, macadamias, almonds, pecan, sesame seed, hemp, or chia seeds, and pumpkin seeds. I just bought a thing of dried mixed, of the deluxe mixed nuts. It's almonds, cashews, pistachios, pecans, and macadamia. And I rough chopped that all up. 
And then I had probably a quarter of a cup of hemp seeds left, so I threw it in there. So that's what we have. These are the nuts and what seeds I had. If I like it, I will go get the coconut and all that. I just couldn't find it today. And then, ooh, let's not catch our paper on fire on the stove, shall we? Um, and then it's 50 grams of butter, but I'm doubling it, so it's 100 grams, about a stick, maybe a tablespoon less. Three tablespoons of super and gold brown sugar, which I don't have, so I just use regular, and I only used five tablespoons because I feel like that's a lot. Uh, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and then I have this maple flavoring from Silver Cloud, and I used a half a teaspoon of that. So right now what I'm doing is melting the butter back here. Oh, oven's up to temp. I'm melting the butter, and once it's melted, I'm going to combine it in here, right, and stir this all together, and then stir it on the nuts. Then we're going to put them in the oven at 350 um, for about 10 minutes and stirring occasionally. Oh, is what the recipe says. So we'll see, but I have it on 350. And then since I didn't have like the coconut and all of that, what I'm going to do is mix in some of my Lily's chocolate chips, which are keto friendly. So, I mean, obviously you can make this however you want. Um, Erythritol monk fruit sweetener doesn't really dissolve, so just keep that in mind. But if you're using regular sugar, you want to dissolve it in all of this. Um, brown sugar, I'm assuming you could even add like agave or honey or really anything that any type of sweetener that you like. Maple syrup, and you, then you don't have to go with the sweetener or the um. Well, the sweetener or the flavoring. You could just use regular maple syrup if that's how you guys do it. Me, I can't do all the sugar. So here's our bowl of mixed nuts that I rough chopped. Some of them didn't even get chopped up, and it's okay. I'm thinking I have a couple hopeful trips coming up, and this will be great in the car kind of munchy snacky stuff. I'm hoping if I like it. And I'm just coating the nuts and seeds together. And this may not even need chocolate chips, guys. We're going to taste it when it's done. And if it's already sweet enough, I won't add anything. So I'm just stirring it up. Oh, it smells like Christmas in here. Not lying. So now I will spray this pan because sugar. Even though it's not real sugar, let's just, you know, spray the pan. That's how we roll, right? We spray the pan. It also called for salt, but these are salted nuts, lightly salted. I did not add more salt. At the end, if I feel like it needs more salt, I will certainly talk, you know, maybe do a little bit of salt on them, but I don't know if they don't need it because there's already, they're salted nuts. Here, why don't I just try one? There's nothing uncooked in here, right? Mmm. Okay, guys, that's good. So we're going to, and I am going to salt it a little bit. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt on top. That's the kind of good thing about keto. Salt is not an issue. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Put it in the oven, stir it, and then I'll get it out and show you what it looks like. Because I think this is going to be delicious. Guys, I don't even know what to do with this. I stacked these boxes to go to the garage and the cat carrier for when I took Wellington. But somebody has taken to this perch. I know, Alex. And I don't have the heart to put it away. <laughs> I don't know. He loves it. He has literally been sleeping in there all afternoon. I guess I'm leaving it in my hallway for now, but we'll see how he does. All right, it's out of the oven. It's all dry. Mmm, it's delicious. So recap, I used a container of mixed deluxe, deluxe mixed nuts and some hemp seed. Now, I am gonna put chocolate chips in it, and I used Lily's, and this is made with stevia. And I always blend semi-sweet and milk. 
together. I'm gonna keep them in a jar. So let's try like a half a cup and see how that looks. I think this is gonna be a great like on the go kind of snack for me when I go bicycle riding, uh, when I car rides, trips, airplanes. Yeah, let's just do a little more chocolate. And you can tell they're mixed, the semi-sweet and the regular. Yeah, that's a good combination. Yeah, I will definitely make this again. Maybe not with the hemp seeds. I don't apparently love hemp seeds. But, it's okay. I'll put some like sunflower seeds or something. Chia, maybe. I don't know. But, that's our trail mix. Keto friendly or not, depending on what you're doing. I'm putting it in a glass bowl. Try not to use so many zip bags. Now when I travel, I'll probably put it in a plastic bowl, but yeah. And I think that'll keep right on the counter. All right guys, it's 9.30, I gotta go to bed. Hey guys, we're in the backyard, it's disgusting. These pots need to go out to the trash. That one just needs to be emptied. Trash, trash, sweeping. I need to come mow. And then I need to pull some weeds and then I'm gonna put down that weed killer. Over here, everything had to get shoved to one side because they were doing some work back here. So now I'm just going to put everything back and get rid of some of these pots or at least the dirt and clean everything up. All right, now we're gonna build a grill for the patio. I am going to grill out tonight. So we need to get this grill. I threw the old one away. The patio has all been cleaned off. I don't have the chairs out there yet because I need to see if I can get somebody to come power wash for me. That, I, you know, I love having a patio. That patio is hard because of the, um, it doesn't get a lot of sunlight, so we get like moss and mold growing on the ground and all kinds of crazy shenanigans. So we're going to build this grill, but the thing is I got to keep this box. Um, <laughs> it's the perfect height when I do um, Zoom yoga. <laughs> it's the perfect height for me to put my laptop on so I can see what's going on. So what we're going to do oops, is take all the parts and pieces out for this grill. And then we're going to put it back together. And then I'll retape the top. And then I can, I set my laptop on here facing me and then I can see all the things. This grill, these grills, I love this Weber product. And the front it even says there's a 10 year warranty. I believe it. I have my other one for seven years. The only reason that I got rid of it is I left it out last winter and I ended up, um, it got rusted and I didn't clean the grates and stuff before I put it in the house. So sadly I had to, um, dispose of it, but that's okay. There we go. I have my grill. Let me tell you, this thing is big. I can cook easily. Steak and veg, I've made four burgers at a time. Um, I do charcoal and I love this Weber and they are, I've seen them all over the place for $34.99. It's a great value. If you're looking for a small tabletop grill for your patio, your balcony, um, Take care of it and it will take care of you. 
All right, let's get this on the patio. Guys, sorry for the noise. It's my air conditioner. We are gonna light the chimney for my charcoal. Now, normally I use newspaper, but I'm out. So I'm ripping up a brown bag. This is regular old Kingsford charcoal. I do like Kingsford. No fluid. I don't use lighter fluid. I just use paper. So I use about half because I'm only cooking hamburgers. And then let me show you how we do this. Let me get you in here better. And then you light the paper in the chimney. All the way around. Newspaper works better, but heck, I've used copy paper before. When you run out, so you want the idea is to get the paper to burn, and then it'll touch the the charcoal. Ooh. Let's go over here. Get it lit. You want it even all the way around. typically what's up in here. It takes a minute to catch and then you want to let it go for like 30 minutes and you see the smoke. This will all turn white and then your briquettes are ready. While the chimney is heating, I got, I bought 36 ounces of ground beef. I made four for the freezer. I love this Tupperware container. It was totally worth the money. It holds individual burgers, so if I just want one, I can just take one out, put the lid back on it, and throw it in the freezer. So that'll hold four, and I'm going to cook four today, and I seasoned them up with my zesty Italian. Got my grill tools ready. We're going to have a burger tonight and probably salad to go with. I need to eat up that lettuce. But that is it. All right, charcoals are ready. They are screaming hot. Let me show you. They are white. And then you just dump them in here. I do it pretty even. And then down below, you won't see it, but I have a um, terracotta planter that I sit that chimney in because it's hot as well. Here we go. Now I'm just going to drop that on top. Close this up. I close this. Put that on let it heat up for about five to ten minutes it'll clean your um your grill too so let that get hot and then i'll cook the burgers hi guys i forgot to finish my vlog yesterday so i'm finishing it i'm actually sitting here on the floor i just filmed a um floss tube for my cambridge way crafty channel and I am going through and putting everything away. I picked up some more cross stitch patterns and some of my finishes and what I'm going to do with them and all the things. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great week. It is Monday morning. It's Memorial Day. I would like to take some time to remember those who lost their lives for us so we can live free and I appreciate that. I appreciate them. I don't want to wish you a happy Memorial Day because this is not a happy holiday this is a time to reflect I feel I feel like that's me all right guys well I'm gonna finish this up and get everything rolling and I hope you have a good day bye bye